this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and this is a yarn chat video. Um, so today I will be filming like two or three videos in a row, so you'll see the same outfit for a few videos. But I didn't make any videos this past week, but I've been doing a lot of stuff, so I wanted to talk about it all. Um, first, I am going to talk about my finished projects. I'll put a link in the description to the video I watched. Um, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know where I saw this video. If it was something that was shared in someone else's Facebook group, or if it just showed up in my news feed, or um, if it showed up, you know, in the Facebook videos, things to watch. Um, I don't know, or YouTube videos, I should say. So anyway, I saw this pattern, and it, it came out different than what the picture looked like. I'm going to be completely honest, but I thought, you know what? I might try that so I stuck it in my so what I usually do when I see videos like that I share it to my Facebook page and then a couple of my friends are like oh please make me that so I was like okay I'll make one so for this let's see if I have the yarn I used comfy cotton blend and this is a lion brand yarn it has 392 yards and I want to say this is 50% cotton 50% acrylic so I made, it's called the Lazy Diamond Boho Shawl. So in the picture, it actually looks like it's a kind of sweater. The way the gal's arms are positioned, it looks like she has arm sleeves, but it is not. Um, I'm gonna pause the video, back up, put it on. I don't know, there's really no way, good way for you to see it, but I'll try my best, okay? Um, and then I'll take it off, pause the video, and talk about it. Okay, so here I am wearing it. It kind of looks like it has sleeves, um, and it does have these big pockets right there. It looks like this in the front, and in the back, it looks like that. Okay, so this one, to be honest, if I made it again, I'd want to make it a little smaller, but it definitely is perfect for snuggling up on the couch, and because it's so big, you could wear this like, um, you know, like a real, like a wrap or a coat almost. So I'm going to pause the video and talk about this pattern. Okay. Okay, so I think I'll wear it for a while too. Okay, so I'm like I said, I'm going to put the link in the description to the video that I watched. She explains how to make this, uh, this square. So essentially it's a giant granny square. You make two little ones for the pockets, and then you make three really big ones, or small if you're skinny, um, and you sew them together. And the way that it lays, it gives you this like freedom to move your arms more, if you will. But it's super cozy that you can still wrap up like a blanket and sit on the couch, or if you gotta quick take the dog out, if you live in a winter area and you're and it's about to snow and it's November, you can quick wrap this up and take the dog out. You know what I mean? But you can still look kind of cute in it. And I will say the pockets are kind of handy. Um, you could put your TV remote in there so your kids don't snatch it or sit on it when you've got it on the couch. This one I accidentally sewed on the wrong way. So I have to fix that. This took a ton of yardage. So the little pockets I want to say measured 17 inches square and these big these big um, squares were like 26 inches um, if I were to make one again which I for myself I won't um, you know how you make it for so many other people and then by the time you're for yourself you're like Bleh. um they're, they're measure 26 I would say I would not do the 26 again I probably do 22 it's just enormous um, and it took just under 2,500 yards. You are not hearing me wrong. So initially I had three of these because Joann's I think had buy two, get one free. And so I'm like, oh, this should be enough to make one, right? One per square, I don't know. Then as I was going through, I was like, holy cats, I'm gonna run out of yarn. So I went back to Joann's and at that point they had buy three get two free and they were $7.99 so I bought three and I got two free and so I have one left 
The pattern does call for fringe on the bottom, but I am just not a fringe or uh, a tassel kind of gal. It will get caught on something in my house and it will snag and pull and rip off. That's just all there is to it. So um, I am not careful enough. I guess I'm running around my house like a bulldozer. Um, and so I just didn't hassle with the fringe. But it is on there. So I did make one of these for myself. And then like I said, I got a coworker at school that wants one and a neighbor down the way, she wants one. It is super warm with the comfy cotton. Like right now, I'm starting to sweat. I was gonna wear it <laughs> through the whole video, but that's not gonna happen. I'm going to have to take it off. But it's really nice. Um, do you see that? They, they meet, look at me like a weirdo there, hey? They meet in the back as a triangle. Do you see that? The three, the three big squares. And you just um, single crochet them together. You lay, the way that she plans the pattern, it's almost like, I like to call them tracks because she does them in the back post. Yeah, and it kind of leaves a track and then you can just crochet them together. It's so, it is so simple. You also don't have to, because that's the thing I hate about making a lot of things is having to sew things together. I like to crochet. And the way you put the pockets on and the way you do the outline, all you have to do is lay it down there and single crochet it. So it is very handy. You will not need to take out a darning needle. You will need your hook and some yarn. Now for this, I used a J hook with the comfy cotton. So that is whip or finished project number one. And I wove in all the ends like it is straight up done. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is from Bella Coco's. I think on the box it said box 13, but I was told that she put the wrong box number on there, so it's box 12. I don't know. It's the one that comes with this little cute bunny and this gray pink yarn um, that has like angora and what does it have? Alpaca and wool mix. So I made this shawl, and I believe I have a video that you should have just watched that I just put out about it, and I loved the pattern. Um, the thing I like about the pattern is this. There's no double crochets in it. Double crochet is the stitch I don't like the most. <laughs> I don't know why. I'd hate to be judgmental, but I just don't like it. And I feel like there's a lot of patterns that are just lots of double crochet, which is fine. You know, I'm the one that doesn't like it. So that's my problem. The thing I love about this pattern is there's no double crochets. Well, I mean, it's British, so they say double crochet, but it's really a single crochet. So it's called the Meadow Sweet Shawl. Now, I'm gonna do some research for you. I'm gonna write that down on my little thing so I don't forget. And I'm going to try to put a link to the pattern because this is designed by Anna Nikki Pyrosi. I'm sorry, Nikki, or Anna, I'm sorry. And she has an Instagram. I'm wondering if she sells her patterns or if it's exclusively to Bella Coco, or maybe I'll look on the Bella Coco site. But I will try to find a link because obviously it came in box 12 in the book. I don't know how else you would get it. I'm pretty sure you would have to purchase it. But it is a wonderful pattern. And I'm going to show you how many of them I made. But I'm going to put a note here, Meadow Shawl Link. Because it is such a nice, easy, breezy pattern once you watch I did have to watch her tutorials and I did change the border because the border had this weird stitch that I didn't know what it meant. Um, what did it call it? Uh, do, 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 do. Um, R-H-T-R-F. I was not able to find out what that meant. So I just like, you know what? I know that R-H is right hand. And I thought TR was treble and then F was front. I don't know. And so basically I just did, I want to say, a front post single crochet. That's all I did. I did a single crochet around the edge and then I did a front post single crochet. And then I looked at the picture and it kind of gave me this like ridged look. And I was like, good, that's done. <laughs> so he... Much to, to no further ado, here is one of the shawls I made. Now, this is using Wool Ease because this is one of the yarns that Bella Coco listed in here that you can use instead of her fancy DK yarn that she had in this box. 
So I thought, well, I'm going to pull out some of those yarns. So this is Woolies, and I believe it's in the colorway Peacock. And the thing that I love about the, this pattern and the way it works up is it is very, you don't really have to color control. As you can see right over here, I mean, there is a spot where, right there, where my color changed. But it's overall pretty nice the way the colors fade into each other. You can also see one right here, but it's not like in your face glaring. I just love the pattern. I'm going to hold it up real close so you can see it. Do you see that? It's mostly half double crochets and single crochets. And those of you that know me, I love a half double crochet. That's my favorite stitch. So this is what it looks like. Um, again, I did not put the tassels on it, but this one that I made, I gave to one of my teacher friends at school. She is a complete, this is so her style, and that's why I gave it to her. It reminded me just of her, and I did put the tassels on hers. So this one is a Woolies Peacock. Woolies is a wool acrylic blend from Lion Brand. <laughs> I made more. This also is a Wool Ease Lion brand. I love this one. Look at that. This to me, because I am a busty, big-faced gal, I can't wear a lot right here, but you could wear this like under your winter coat and have this pop up and it looks so cute. And this is Hades. I bought this because it has a Greek god name in it. And look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? So this is number two, technically number three, because I made the one in the box. And now I am starting <laughs> number four. And you're like, Summer, why are you making all these? And I'll tell you, it's just because I am trying to keep myself as stress relieved as possible because school, if it does start, will start soon for me because we go to a private school and it starts on the 25th. And I just want to have some good family time where we're watching movies in the evening. And obviously, I can't just sit and watch a movie. I don't know if you other crocheters are that way. I've got to be crocheting if I'm sitting on the couch. And this pattern is so easy to follow. Um, you can just whip through it. You just literally sit there. You don't have to go into the top of a stitch you know, like right in there. You don't have to go into them. You usually go around these uh, chain two spaces. So I can just hold my pointer finger by the chain two. I feel where it is and I just go right along. I don't even have to look. Um, I'm not sure what this colorway is. This is a mandala, a regular mandala cake. This is all acrylic, um, but I got this at Walmart without a ball band and I forgot to look it up online to see which mandala it is. I think it's either unicorn or pixie. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is I feel like the color changes are a little more dramatic. Um, in here, the color fades better. Like there is <clears throat> a fading from the blue to the purple and it's just easier, it's more hidden. But in here, there's really no way to hide the pink to the white. I mean, it's just there. It's a light pink and then it's white, you know? So the other thing about these shawls is that it starts on the long end. Do you see that? It starts on the long end and it works down to a triangle. Um, typically, most of these type of shawls that I make usually start at the triangle and work up, the tip of the triangle. And the thing about that, this is a tip for y'all. Let me grab a cake. When you are using, and this is one that I've been hoarding for a while, this is a Karen baby cake. When you're starting from a point triangle shawl, you should start with the outside color. But it's because the outside color is not always the full yardage of that specific color. The inside is gonna be the more, the full yardage. So if you start with a point, start with the outside. If you're starting with the long side, start with the in. That way you won't have a color change in a weird spot. So it's like, that's just my tip there. So for th this, because I was starting on the long side, I started with the inside color. And if you're starting on the point, you start with the outside color. Now, just to tell you, this is sunny day. This is a baby cake and it's 82% acrylic and 18% nylon and they're super soft. Um, my mom bought me this from Michaels quite a while ago, a couple years ago, and this is the last one I have, and it makes super soft baby sweaters. But it's the closest cake. 
Okay, so <clears throat> that is the project that I have been doing. Now, you will have about this much yarn left over from a mandala yarn if you're making Anna's Meadow Sweet Shawl. Um, I don't think it calls for nine tassels or seven, I think nine. I don't think this will make enough, so I, I think I might make three. I just put it off because I don't like making tassels either. Um, okay, now one more thing that I've made. I haven't finished it off because I'm, I'm still debating frogging it. This, so a while ago I made a, I was making baskets with two strands of cotton and they were so floppy and I didn't like it. And everyone's like, oh, you gotta try Jada in Stitches. Jada and St Stitches has a video, I wanna say that's called Big Beautiful Basket. So I was like, oh, I am. I just sat there one day and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go look it up. So I looked up her Big Beautiful Basket video, which I'll put a link in the description. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Big Beautiful Basket, I'm gonna put BBB. And I'm gonna write Jada. Hopefully that's enough to remind me. And I was like, I'm gonna make her basket. So what she has, and I made it, is, this is mine. Now, she talks about doing this because she was using up variegated yarns. So hers, um, she just went through and grabbed a bunch of single skeined variegateds, and she made this design. Now, it's nothing, nothing fancy, no offense. It's just a simple basket. Like I said, I haven't woven in my ends because I am debating on frogging it. Because in order for it to hold its shape, I have it stuffed with blankets. These are things that I've made, or couch blankets, and I have this on the floor in the corner of the room <clears throat> to hold its shape. And when the kids want a blanket, they go over there, they pull one out, see there? I got this from one of my second graders for Christmas. Thank you. And um, there it is. Now, I made mine three strands of acrylic yarn. This is from Hobby Lobby. So it was, I love this yarn, except one pack of black Crafter Secret. I love this yarn pink. And then do you see that right there? I'm going to have to get it down for you. You can't see it. It is a variegated... I love this yarn right here. <laughs> and it is, I love this yarn. But I love this variation. This is called, what is it called? Surprise Stripe. Well, it does not make a stripe pattern, just so you know, so that name is false. But it is a surprise. And it's pink, gray, white, and it kind of goes into like a dark, but it, when you hold it up to the black, it doesn't look black. Um, and it's really nice. I actually bought a few of these for Pixie and I gave them to her in an Australia. Um, I guess I'll just have to put that there. In an Australian video. I should put a link in the description to her video. Because you guys, she did a wrap at the beginning of it for our yarn swap. So I'm going to put Pixie's yarn swap. I'll put a link into it. If you guys want to hear Pixie do that super cute yarn swap baby. I'm not nearly as good as her. Okay, so this is my complaint. Are you ready? This is why I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to frog it. So this is what the blanket looks, or the basket looks like. Chuck full of blankets. Okay, now I'm going to dump them all on the floor. This is what it looks like without, <laughs> without being full of stuff. <clears throat> and this was three strands. And I used a J hook. I tried to make this as tight as humanly possible. My arm was hurting after this. And it is so frustrating to me. Like, what is wrong with me that I cannot make a solid basket? They're as floppy as can be. Isn't that frustrating? Do you guys feel bad for me? So, I know if I frog this, because this took a lot of yarn. I know if I frog this, it's gonna be kind of a mess because I had to hold three strands at once. <clears throat> and of course, there was not the same yardage between the Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn pink, Crafter Secret Black, and Hobby Lobby's Surprise Stripes, which is not a stripe. So it's gonna be a mess. I guess I'm just gonna have to, so I haven't woven in the ends. I left them hang here because like I said, I was feeling like I might frog it. <clears throat> because my husband gave me this idea he thinks <clears throat> excuse me I have a frog in my throat 
He thinks I should crochet holding three strands together and a, um, a string of fishing wire. Yes, that's what he thinks. He thinks if I hold a fourth strand, it be fishing wire, you know, the thin plastic wire with three strands of yarn that it's gonna give this basket more support. Because honestly, I mean, I could, I could hold it by the handles and then it kind of looks like this, but mine, even if you watch Jada's bas video, I'll put a link in it, she's able to somewhat hold hers in her hand. And I, I, I can't. So, you guys, I think I'm done with the basket. I'm not really interested in crochet. I mean, I guess I could try for the sake of, just for the heck of it, make a little one to see if using the fishing wire with it works. I mean, I don't, I don't fish. I know that'll shock you guys. So I don't even know if that is like how much that would cost in yards. How many yards of fishing wire? I don't know. So, I mean, that's an idea. Now, if some of, some of you or one of you has already crocheted a basket using fishing wire with your yarn, leave a message. I do read them. Um, it would be really amazing to see and tell me what you think about that. Okay, moving on. That is all I've crocheted. My lazy boho diamond shawl wrap, um, about four of Anna's meadow sweet shawl. Jada's big beautiful basket, which is now here on the floor with a pile of blankets. Um, <clears throat> that is all that I worked on. Oh, I do have a little side note thing that I worked on. I thought I would tell you guys about this. Um, so I made some more quiet critters. I don't have one to show you this time. I made some before for Flynn's teacher. But this year we have a couple extra kids that have been transferred to our school. And so his teacher wanted more. But basically I just take these cute little fuzzy pom-poms. I glue some googly eyes to them. And then I cut out a little circle of felt. And I hot glue the pom-pom to the felt with some googly eyes. And you call them quiet critters. And you put them on your kids' desks and you tell them that these little quiet critters will sit on their desk as long as they are quiet. But if they get too loud, the quiet critters are going to get scared and they're going to go back into the quiet critter jar. Um, apparently it was very successful with the first graders. And so she wanted a few more. And so um, I buy these sparkly pom-poms at Joann's. I got the felt at the dollar store. The googly eyes at the dollar store. And then a long time ago, I got this at Hobby Lobby, $7.99 or something. So after I made her a couple more quiet critters, the kindergartner teacher wanted some quiet critters. And so then I made her some. So I actually have a video where I show you the quiet critters. Maybe I'll look to see if I can find that one, but it's going to be hard because it wasn't in the title. It was like one of these yarn chats. And so it's going to be difficult to find you the link to that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something I bought in the mail. Ah! Okay, there's no reason that I bought this. I just bought it because I wanted it. I was searching Amazon and look at this. It is a super cute unicorn yarn bowl. Um, the yarn comes out here. I believe this is for a knitter because it looks like it has two holes for you to pop your knitting needles in. But I just thought it was super cute, this little unicorn yarn bowl. Um, it was $25.99. Either that or $27.99. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and so I will put a link in the description to this if you feel like you want this super cute unicorn. Unicorn? Catacorn? Do you think it's a catacorn? I mean, the ears kind of go up like a cat. Flinny, do you think this is a unicorn or a catacorn? Unicorn. Unicorn. Okay, so it is a unicorn. But I thought it was adorable. Um, so I bought this and this is what I've been using the last few days because just a bit ago when my sister was visiting her, I gave her the yarn bowl that I kept upstairs um, because she is not as crafty experienced as me and she didn't even know what a yarn bowl was. And when she saw it, she was like, oh my gosh, can I have it? And I said, sure. Now I can order myself a catacorn or a unicorn. So. That is what I got off of Amazon, and I've loved it. It came within two days because Amazon Prime. It's amazing. And the final thing, final, last but not least, is I got some yarn mail, and I opened it up, and I opened up this little package, took it out, but I didn't, like, look to see what it was. And it says, thank you on here. 
I believe this was mailed to me from California, Vista, California. Very exciting. It says, birthday, congrats, greetings, thank you, and thinking of you cards. Hello, my name is Nicole. I'm a photographer based out of San Diego, California. My card documents my travels and love of nature. Go check out my Etsy page. Oh, I will. I'll put a link in the description to her Etsy page. It'll be the first one. I'll put that one and then all those others that I was lensing. And so she has some beautiful cards here. So let's see. This is from Nicole, and her shop is called Nicole Gillian or Jillian. I'm not sure how you pronounce your G. Art. And so here is the first one. Ooh, that is a beautiful flower. Let's open it up and look inside. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm not going to do it now because it matches. Look at that. She put a little sticker on the outside that matches the card. And this one is a beautiful sandy beach scene. And this, I was wondering if it would tell us where. I am going to open one because I wanted to see if it tells you where this picture was taken. Okay, get it in there. So it's a blank card, okay? So you can write whatever you want in there. You can use it for whatever you want. And the other cool thing, y'all, it is not, it doesn't feel like a photo. It feels like fancy paper. So you don't have to worry about like it getting wet or ruined with heat or cold. That is very nice. And it does not say where these photos are. And the third one is this beautiful flower. Can you see it because of the glare? Isn't that beautiful? So thank you, Nicole. And if you are interested in checking out Nicole's Etsy shop, please head on over and get one of her beautiful cards. Okay. Um, also, when I talked about my sister's Etsy shop, you guys, I accidentally um, put a letter V at the end of the link. So initially it did not work, but I have since fixed it, but I'll put a link in the description to her Etsy shop too because I am helping promote her Etsy shop. Okay, so there we are. That is a huge 27 minute yarn chat video. I will put links in the description to the big beautiful basket video, to the video where you can make this beautiful big wrapped pocketed shawl. I will try my best to find some kind of link or a link to Anna for you to make her meadow sweet shawl because it literally is a two video I was able to watch two movies and finish it. So what, that's about a three hour project? In the dark. <laughs> um, I'll put a link to my Amazon Catacorn slash Unicorn Yarn Bowl because it's super cute. And yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.